What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I am back with a brand new video. So this is the first video, the first video of my YouTube channel, which I am recording on my new Sony a7 III. And I am sure the detail looks better. I'm sure everything looks much better. Hopefully it all turns out well. I actually can't see myself right now. So I'm relying on the autofocus and until I get a monitor or something to see myself on, I have to hope that this works out, but I'm sure it will. So today, as you can tell by the title, thumbnail, whatever reason you clicked on this, I am reviewing the High School Musical, the musical, the series on Disney+. Plus. Wow, okay. Now, I love High School Musical. Grew up watching it. They may not be the best movies out there, but there's that nostalgia that really helps, you know, make it a good, decent watch and here and there, then. So I don't really think that the High School Musicals are glorious movies to praise, but I honestly did expect more from this series. Now, obviously the series is relying on so much more nostalgia and more of that, um, what came from the fans of the first few movies, but the show is just so poorly made as a series which is kind of suits the fact that it's a Disney show, but the fact that, you know, it was on Disney Plus, you're kind of hoping for more and whatnot, but it's just so bad. And it's bad in a real cringe-worthy way. A lot of the characters are just, you know, the characters you expect, this uh, girl who has feelings for a boy, but learns to express herself and whatnot, or a guy who changes for the girl, or a cool jock guy who learns that some of the things he does aren't actually that great, or that cool friend, or that nerdy friend, all that nerdy people get together, oh my god, and it's just like, too much. But, with that said and done, this show wasn't terrible, I really didn't hate it, I really enjoyed the episode Thanksgiving, and there are a few moments from the other episodes here and there which I really liked, but there are just so many more irritable parts. Like the first episode, they had that, um, you know, where the characters, actors were like commenting on what was going on and saying Team Ricky, Team EJ, and whatnot. But other than that, like that was very irritating for me personally. But in the show itself, Team Ricky and Team EJ is not really existent. Like, this show has so many ideas, so many story threads that they're going to explore, but they're like all half-hearted. None of them are really fully explored. Like the show sold itself as being high school people doing High School Musical the Musical in the place where High School Musical the Musical was um, filmed and whatnot, the show, movie. Um, but it's not really focused on that. At the same time, it's focused on this relationship between these three people, but then that also kind of gets like thrown away at some point and then brought back. It's very confusing, but I'm gonna try to get through it as quickly as I can. What really happens, Ricky was with uh, Nina, I think that's her name. Then they split up because Nina said she loves him and he couldn't reply and whatnot. Then she ends up with EJ and then they're together and Ricky tries to get back with Nina and whatnot. And eventually, Nina doesn't go with either boy. She has a song where she's like singing, maybe you should write a song about yourself. One of the friends says that and she does. And it's kind of like putting away images of war. She's kind of being her own person and like, okay, you know, this is going to be a show where she doesn't need no man. She's going to be her own person and whatnot. But then like an episode later, I think she kisses Ricky and it's like she's having feelings with Ricky again. And it's just like, you had this whole thing where you're like getting over boys, but then you're back with a boy again, not long later. And then EJ gets thrown out of this whole triangle, pretty much that moment, he focuses on himself and the fact that he's a good actor or is he not a good actor? Oh, he's trying to do good things, be honest and whatnot. And he's kind of just there from then on out. Gina, that's the character, she's there and then she's gone for a bit, but she's not that main. I don't know why she's on the poster. I don't know why she's like a part of the main four in that first episode thingy. Um, she's kind of like evil, but turns out she's doing it for good reasons and whatnot. She's not that perfect, but she's just gone for too much. There's so many things going on. Ricky's parents are having a divorce, and then Ricky's like to his dad, you need to go out there, you need to go find someone. And Ricky's mom, who ends up having a boyfriend, Ricky gets so devastated over that. Yes, he clearly has a better relationship with his dad than his mom, but at the same time, if you like support your dad going out and meeting women, why are you against your mom meeting someone else? It's just, 
very like you know you're not really explaining this well to me and he's so devastated over the fact that she's with someone new that they're going through a divorce and it is hard i'm not trying to take away from the people who actually have experienced their parents getting a divorce it's hard on a child but it's just that it's not fully explored that i can't really sympathize with him i can't really feel what he's feeling because it's so rushed it's so poorly done and i'm just like ah, oh, come on is there more to him than just this so then you've heard about my complaints about EJ, about the romance, about everything, how characters do one thing, then do another, how everything is so half-hearted. Um, Big Red has a relationship with another girl and it's so like, so cheesy. It's not really bad, but it's just there and I just don't really care all that much. Uh, at one point they're like, oh, this we don't do musicals, we don't need musicals. And then they do musicals and stuff, next thing you know. Um, the whole show itself is meant to be focused on the fact that they're doing the High School Musical musical, but it's not really focused on that. The last two episodes are the performance itself, and most of the songs are really poor, like I really didn't enjoy them, but the show treats are like they're really great, they're really fun, everyone's enjoying themselves, but I'm not watching it. I feel very disappointed. I didn't really see the build up of them going to do this. Like I know they had to save the show by saving the teacher who wasn't actually a teacher and one. They had to go perform somewhere else, practice somewhere else, but they practiced somewhere else for one day. They saved the teacher so quickly. Everything just happened so easily and so quickly. I want to see them work for it. I want to see them work for it. I want all these stories to be properly explored, but they rush it and now they're going on to something else. It's kind of like they wanted to get the high school musical part of it out of the way so quickly so that they could focus on being its own show and maybe the second season will be like that i really don't know and yes there is a second season it was announced recently but it was booked confirmed before the first season even came out so yeah but overall this show it is a fine show it is cringe worthy it is entertaining it is what you expect from a disney channel disney plus i guess now we should say show and you know the acting isn't all that bad the singing isn't all that bad it's not amazing but you know you can get a good time out of it my favorite episode is the thanksgiving episode i, I really don't know what i enjoy about it i just enjoyed it um, overall the show itself gets a 6 out of 10 from me and I really don't have much else to say but this would probably be a long video considering everything I've said. Nonetheless let me know if you have seen the show series, are you excited for season 2, did you like season 1? Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and until next time, I'll see ya.